I'm Pat Marino, founder of Face Love Mexico since 1994, and we're celebrating this year our 22nd anniversary, consulting and coordinating with patients from all over the world. And we're pleased to say that Dr. Kelliker is our surgeon. He's been with, with us on our team now for over 10 years, and he performs all the surgeries. Today I'd like to introduce Colita. She is um, also from uh, Texas and she's 59 years young. I'm going to introduce you to her in, in just a moment. Um, Colita had the full facelift, the uh, temporal, uh, this portion, temporal forehead lift, um, the mid face, and the neck lift. Her uh, exception was she only had her upper eyelids done versus the lower uh, eyelids he uh, chose to use, and she uh, agreed, the uh, fat transfers into the lower lid and the uh, orbital rim uh, right about here. So other than that, a full facelift was performed with Colita, and she is thrilled. I think she looks 40-ish, and I'd like to introduce you to Colita. Hi there, everyone. My name is Colita and I hail from the great state of Texas, uh, next door neighbor to this beautiful country of Mexico. Um, I'm here today to talk about my experience of the last nine days. Tomorrow will be my 10th day, and I have to say that I'm probably going to cry like a baby to have to go home. Um, approximately four or five years ago, I learned about Pat Marino and uh, Casa Marino here in San Miguel de Allende. And I'm kind of a research person, and at that point in time, I was about 55 years old, and a lot of you ladies, this will resonate with you because we get on the internet and we begin to examine ways to hang on to our youth, which is quickly fading at that point and only gets worse. So, I did a lot of research and I come from a large city in Texas which is well known for plastic surgery, cosmetic surgery, injectables, you name it. And I have friends who have had surgery and have had successful surgeries but have suffered through every moment of it because uh, they would have surgery on a, day, a particular day and at the end of that day they'd be ejected and sent home to take care of themselves. So I knew when I was interested in, in researching, I knew that you know there's gotta be a better way. So when I stumbled across Pat Marino's website, uh, Facelift Me Mexico, um, I just liked everything that I read. Um, I was able to read reviews. Uh, I could not find a bad review of uh, Casa Marino. I could not find a bad review of the wonderful surgeon, Dr. Kelliker, that she's been uh, colleagues with now for I think probably 20 years. And I was just impressed with, it, with the whole nine yards. So fast forward, um, I turned 60 this year. And I told myself, you know, when I turn 60, I'm gonna do something about this these little issues that I'm having that are driving me crazy, like having to smile all the time, but nobody really knows I'm smiling. They just think that I'm, you know, my face is in a resting position, but I'm actually holding it up. Um, tired of my eye makeup melting all around my eyes because I live in a high humidity area. Um, you know, just the usual things that, that we ladies deal with uh, after a lifetime of uh, being mothers and wives and sisters and whatever, problem solvers, uh, it all shows up on your face eventually. So I treated myself and I ran away to Mexico and from the moment that I arrived, um, I was so comfortable. I was met at the airport by my driver, who had a big sign with my name on it, had no problems going through customs. Uh, the car trip was, you know, about approximately 45 minutes to uh, the hospital. Uh, the private hospital was extremely clean, 
very professional, very quiet. Dr. Kelliker came in within a half hour of my arrival. Uh, what can I say about Dr. Kelliker? He is charming, he is smart, he's a wonderful listener. Um, he really listened to what my needs were and then he explained to me from his professional view what he thought would be good for me. And I just felt so comfortable in the trust level, it was just instantaneous. Um, the next morning, uh, I went into surgery about 8 o'clock, and I, I believe it was about, t about a two-hour surgery. And what I had done for me, um, he took off just a tiny bit of my upper eyelid. I didn't have the, the lower uh, blepharoplasty uh, because I didn't have, I had an unusual thing happening. I was kind of like a chihuahua. I had these big tear duct things happening, and I had a lot of bony area right here and it was, it was quite aging. I, I didn't really notice it myself until I would look in pictures sometimes and just be horrified. So he suggested a fat replacement, which he removed from my own body, and did some injections of fat in that area, and I'm really pleased. I think it turned out beautifully. I stressed to him that although I wanted to feel pretty again, uh, I have two daughters, uh, that are in their 30s and one is 40 and I said Dr. Kelliker I do not want to look younger than my daughters I just want to look like a, a rested better version of myself and I want to feel pretty again and he got it he looked at me he said I know he said we, we can fix you perfectly and uh, one thing that he had pointed out and uh, Pat had noticed uh, in advance of coming I sent photos. They request that you send photos of yourself, and I mean just the raw stuff, no makeup. Let's see what we're dealing with. And all my life I've had kind of a little crooked smile, but I've had one side of my lip was thin on this side, and on this side it was nice and full. Well, they noticed that. And Dr. Kelliker said, uh, you know, I can make that symmetrical and make it look nice. And I said, wait a minute, I don't want to be, I, you know, I don't want to have blown up lips because that's just not going to be me. And he said, Kalita, I promise you, you're going to be fine. He said, just give me a little bit of latitude and I'm going to fix that lip and you're going to be thrilled. So, uh, what else? Let's see, I did, he did a little bit of a tuck up and I don't have my little, I called them my little granny pouches because I am a grandmother and I'm a proud grandmother, by the way very proud grandmother. Um, the only thing I do, don't like about being a grandmother is my little granny pouches. And so now, um, you know, there's a little bit of swelling. It's been a week, I think now. Uh, I, was, I haven't been under any discomfort the entire time. Casa Marina is like a um, very, very comfortable home where you feel cozy and well taken care of. Um, you have plenty of privacy if you need it, and you also have conversation if you, if you want that as well. The food is sublime. Felicia, I believe, does the cooking, and she's wonderful. Fabiola is an angel, and I can tell she's everybody's right-hand man, but Fabiola, she's bilingual, and it's important for those of us who don't speak Spanish. But Fabiola uh, just met my every need. She checked on me, uh, you know, offered me wonderful movies to watch. I've revisited Downton Abbey. I've, the pillows are wonderful. I've never ever in my life been able to sleep on my back. And guess what? I have slept on my back for an entire week and enjoyed every moment of it. So the linens are beautiful. The surroundings are beautiful. The street is quiet. The city is wonderful. I don't know what else to say. If you really want to do something special for yourself, and you want a subtle beauty, you need to contact Pat Marino. You need to uh, meet with Dr. Kelliker and just, you're gonna come away just feeling like a million bucks. By the way, it's not gonna cost you a million bucks. And that's a very, this is the last thing that I'm gonna say. It is 
much less than half the price of what I would have had to pay in the large city that I'm from. And uh, I was appalled at some of the price quotes that I received in Texas. But coming here was an affordable experience and the quality, I believe, uh, was better. And I think here I am a week later, I think I look pretty good. Dr. Kelliker, when I was in the hospital, came to see me a minimum of four to six times daily. He checked on me in the hospital that often. Since then, he made a house call. He removed my sutures. He answered any questions and any anticipated questions I might have. He gave me access to be able to contact him in the future if I have any issues at all. And he cleared me uh, to, to go home and my health, you know, monitored my health. And they also uh, did a lot of testing, additional testing to make sure that I was healthy enough for the surgery. And uh, his team at the hospital, they're nothing, they're just nothing less than professional. So the entire experience was pretty terrific. And I met some amazing people, had a lot of fun, and I'm, I wish I could stay. And I'd just like to personally thank Pat Marino and her husband, the staff here, Fabiola, Felicia, um, and Dr. Kelliker. I just can't thank you enough.